and we're back. I found this interaction here kind of odd. We just sort of walked in, got attacked, and then we were locked in conversation. I actually reloaded a save and just saw if there was any other way to run it. Well, of course. And <laughs> yeah. not really. Um, I also tried a more belligerent approach with Kayla and got exactly the same outcome. So a little bit disappointing. Um, it, we are kind of being railroaded here, but I guess that it's kind of a DLC. It's not, you know, a full wide open game. And if I'm being honest, Baldur's Gate, while it allows for multiple options, is not Deus Ex or Fallout. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, I think if we have a look at the map, we've got some areas we can still explore. And I want to work out what the goes with these men here. It's, um, it's not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. But anyway, we've, we've just spoken with Kayla. I mean, for you, this by the way, this save is pure. This is exactly where I left off last time. So the story continues. Aiden, are you alright? We heard an explosion. Uh, I'm fine. I have to find another way across the winding water. The bridge is down. Gods, half Baldur's Gate's trade came through here. Mm. The council is having trouble dealing, trouble enough dealing with Kayla's refugees. With the coastway impassable, the city could fall into chaos. You're right about that, but I fear there's little we can do about it. All the city's problems have Kayla at their source. Let us make our way to Dragon Spear. Borskir Bridge is our best bet to cross the winding water now, though it's ten day away. You should return to camp and talk to Corporal Duncan. He'll know the best way forward. Okay. Um, see if we can find the shield too. So... We're going to just sweep through the rest of the map and make sure we've got it all sorted. Some basic buffs first. Announcer. For now, I think that will do us. Maybe some extra help. Now, having played through the Black Pits, hearing come one, come all, is deeply, deeply distressing. Have I got a spare spell for him? No, I know I don't. Okay. Done and done. Step right up, young folks. Would you like to witness the most fearsome battles of our time? Here, have a flyer. I might. Where would I go to see these epic combats? Right up the path. A new bout should be beginning soon. What have we got? <laughs> Closed for a time, but now returned. Witness the peril, the power. I'm not going to read through all this. Okay. Well. Yes, okay. Do some inventory play. We've got a potion of lightning resistance. So what I will do, I'll drop that spell from our list just for now. So we've got it for later. Oh, yeah. Well, we noticed something up ahead. So what we'll do, we'll put some traps through here. As one never knows what's up ahead. Totally odd to have, you know, a burnt out town here. A Black Pit's wild sort of scene here. So the main plot here with Kayla Argent herself turning up. And dwarves right here. It's all a bit condensed, you know. A simple task. I spent the last episode praising. A simple task. Might just drop the volume a little bit. Seems a bit louder than before. Yeah. Um. Spent the last game, you know, last episode, talking about how good I found all this, but. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah. That's still good. The dwarves were cool, and a dwarven lich. That's 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 pretty cool. Let's just do a bit of a sweep around here. Make sure we've got everything. Are we on the right? Oh yeah, phase spider. Several phase spiders. Okay, I think traps. More traps. I'm gonna leave one of these. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. So they all save a spell too, didn't they? Now we usually find that makes them move about, so we might see some more coming through shortly. Gargantuan spiders. Since we're likely to be dealing with in, in, with uh, web spells, we'll drop the ring. Oh, dimension door spiders. Phase spiders. Nasty things, aren't they? Need be, we can use invisibility to get out of this. Oh, actually, we're taking a Dawn lot of hits. See if we can't get our guy here to finish them off. Good. So we can see too, our skeleton warriors not taking very much damage. It being piercing damage. Oh, he's taking some, I suppose. Oh, level up. That's right. Let's have a look what we get. Yep, mage level up. So we get level two spells. I don't think we know any, but we get an extra level five spell and level four spell. So that's always good. Yep, nothing. I'm pretty sure we don't get those until the second game. Um, cloud kill. And if we're doing undead, rephrase that. If we have undead happening, we might keep... Uh, yeah, I think armoring our undead will make a, lot of, make a lot of sense. Yeah, I might even drop a stone skin. We'll rely more on summons again. That worked really well for us in the original game, so we'll keep doing it. Dawn and Dawn. See if the skeleton can spot anything. Dawn and Dawn. Dawn and Dawn. I have heard that all of, well, task. not all of my life, but for a large part of my life. The ring. Yep. Another men here. I'm going to try singing to it. A man exhaling a billowing cloud, a look of terror on his face. Okay. I'm not really sure what's happening with them in here. It just seems odd that that's how it's, it's running. Hmm. I'll probably risk dropping this now. Let's get ourselves a moving. Well, of course, <laughs> you. Statue. I'm going to do the smart thing. And I'm not going to activate him until we know what we're up against. Gauth. So a Gauth is a lesser beholder. This is definitely... Oh. So the spectacles of spectacle. That's right, we're wearing this, aren't we? We could use the spectacles. By the way, I'm going to do one little cheat for this and boost, like basically get a copy of the spectacles that we can use all the time because I want to see all of these different interactions. Let's do it. Rah! What is this? A tasty adventure with piles of treasure? Peace creature, I went only to talk. Tremble before me, foolish halfling. I'll tear you apart and drain your delicious magics dry. Hmm. If it's magic items you want, you can find much more than I have to the north. What's that? More succulent magic to feast on? 
North of here, there's a camp full of soldiers with magic weapons and magic users readying for a fight. It's a veritable buffet. That sounds delicious. I shall seek this camp directly. Did we just get... Uh, I feel like we should have rescued these statues. Do we have any scrolls of anti-petrification or flesh to... I don't think we do. Okay. Oh well, sorry. Oh, new terrain. Let's try them in here. Runes eroded by time mark one faint, one face of, of this tall stone man here. One set of faint markings seem to spell out the name C R something something M S. Crowns. No, oh, don't know who that is. A faint but pleasant voice speaks in your mind. One bard howls, while the second bar bard babbles, and the third stands nearby and sighs. Who are these minstrels? Hmm. My, ang my guess is anger, insanity, and sorrow. Not the answer intended, but a proper answer, nonetheless. Okay, so we completed that. Let's um, head back to the first one. Maybe we can buy a, scr uh, a scroll for a six level spell. Odd. I thought we did find them all. Maybe not. Maybe I'll sweep up through here. Actually, while I'm here, I have a quick rest. Let's you see. all right? Sounded like thunder coming from the crossing. I was about to send troops out looking for you. Kayla and I exchanged words. It didn't end well. You spoke to Argent. She was there? Why? What did she say? She said we'd cross paths, perhaps at Dragonspear. I'm looking forward to it. We need to get to Bridgefort. Corporal, spread the word to the troops to strike camp. Make sure to mark- Yes, Captain. Head to Boriskir Bridge when you're ready. If you need to get anything done around here, now would be the time to do it. I doubt we'll be back this way anytime soon. Good day to you. Or Phyllis. Ah, oh, what are you doing here? Making good on my debt to you. You have my gold? Well, I'm trying to make good on my debt to you. I have some gold. Not all that I owe you. Not yet. But I will get it, I swear. Hmm. Here's a rather large piece of gold. I tried to find someone who'd offer me exper for exchange in common currency, but no luck. I could have it melted down, but that would have taken... I don't know how long. What is it? As I said... As I say, I've put word out I was looking for gold. A large quantity of it. An artisan named Foxley was willing to offer me this. This is a bust of me. A gold bust of you. Nice, eh? Foxley's made a small fortune selling them to merchants and nobles. Between you and me, these have more than a little brass and copper mixed in. But this one, pure gold. And it's yours. Ah, uh, thank you. Consider my debt repaid. Oh, no, no, no. Can't do that. I failed you, and I failed Grand Duke Belt. I'll not rest till I've corrected my mistake. You have my word on it. I'll go now. By the time you return to Baldur's Gate, I'll have your money, if not before. Okay. You can take it to the bank, which now I think it would... Oh, it probably would have been a better idea than leave it with me. I like that. Yep. Okay. 
We have a gold bust of ourselves. Oh, cool. It's probably shaped like a, like a rogue too. Can I put it in here? We'll probably use it later on. Bellagom. Do you have any scrolls? Particularly level six scrolls. Come on, don't hold out on me, buddy. Protection from acid. Level five. No, they're all. I thought Phantom Blade was a higher level spell. Uh, plus three. I'm not sure it's worth it for us to, to cast that one just yet. Um, improved visibility. We better buy that. We are a little low on, on money though. And you know it's funny. It's a good spell, but I don't feel I use it much. Though potentially, if I had it, I would use it. We'll buy that, and then we'll buy some more ammo. I think. Just so expensive. So expensive. Uh, ammo always is, but particularly from this guy. Yeah, we really don't get good prices from him, do we? There's nothing here I can really sell for good money. Well, the uncursed staff goes pretty well. Bust of me. The helm goes for decent money. Hmm. Oh yeah, we've got some stuff here. We're going to keep this because it looks too good. Yeah, there's our sand thief ring. We better keep that. It's a fair bit of cash. Any potions we're unlikely to use. Just remember I have that. It's a really good potion. Fire breath. I forgot we had this. Doing my standard thing and forgetting what I have. Um, let's just see what it would cost to buy 80 arrows of piercing because the price is confusing four thousand gold well that's probably good to have honestly it's a lot of money we just spent but level four Oh yeah, this is why I don't use the spell, because it blocks stone skin. Um, I guess if I use... I, you know, come to think of it, Spirit Armor is good for armor class, but mainly it's a saving throw. It's a plus three bonus. This gives a plus four bonus, and also an armor class bonus. So really, both is good, but I would rather have this instead. Duration, no, three rounds versus two hours, so... Anyway, there's no point not spending the money we have. Let's do a final sweep up through here and see what we can find. I bet his day just keeps repeating, huh? Uh, maybe through here. I'm in here. A crowd and a white Bailoth. So if you've played through the Black Pits, you know who this guy is. Come one, come all. See the cream of the Sword Coast's combatant crop. Witness the brilliant and bizarre battles in the Black Pits of the one and only Bailoth the Entertainer. Cockfighting, huh? Gather in the gallery, my gallants. Tis time for another test twixt two titanic terrors in Bailoth's blackest pit yet. 
Yay. Fate favors you fortunate few who witness these feral foes in a furious fray. First, I give you the wild wonder of the Western Kingdoms. Wise men say only fools rush into face. The Wolverine! That's a Wolverine? Looks like a rat. But what wily wonder could conceivably win a war against the Wolverine? There is but one answer. That hardy, hate-filled horror, the Honey Badger! Jeez, Baileth, you've really gone off the deep end this time, buddy. Now that is definitely a squirrel. I bid the battle begin! Entertainment, cause I don't. In case we have to fight Baloth, I think some Me spell defenses. Actually, you know what's a great spell for mage fights? Improved visibility. Where's the blood? Where's the furious beauty of the fray? The Patience, my peculiarly profound patrons. The primitive play you propose will be presented. Gods, Baileth, what are you up to now? Do I know you? Uh, we don't know you, so we're going to say I don't know who you are. You flatter me. I'm going to flatten you if this show doesn't improve. You crave more, you cretinous creatures. I, uh, the cultured company of canniness and class. I concur. And so I give you the goblin. Let me out of here, drow. Let me out. You'll have your freedom, my freakish friend. But first, you must fight for it. Maglobia, take you, night skin. Let me out. Silence, you simpering scullion. The goblin clearly doesn't want to be here. Release her. Now. Think on this a tick, noble one. Have you ever met a goblin that didn't thirst for the thrill of the fray? Free me, snake. Recognize your role, you repellent wretch. I am the entertainer. I speak. You watch and applaud. Or remove yourself if you'd rather. I'll not let you kill a sentient creature for the entertainment of this mod. I this cannot mod. concede to such contemptible, nay, criminal coercion. Oh, the alliteration is just amazing. I'll concede you, silver hair. Oh, shadow, shadow spirits. Ah, stop, I surrender. Cease this spectral assault. I give up. My pit of plenty, pauperized, made pitiful by a pernicious porcupine of a goblin. What a woeful waste. Hmm, the goblin's more merciful than I would be in her shoes. We had a deal, Drow. You broke it. I should let the ghosts have you. A deal? This worm belly promised shelter and food. Then he caged me. Sent me out to kill or die for pink skin scum. Is this true, Drow? Forget this wretched rabble rouser. What will happen to me? Baloth Baratil, showman of showmen, entertainer of entertainers. Hmm. We can't just 
fight Baloth, which I kind of want to do. If you've played through the Black Pits, this is just, you know. Anyway. Um, would you consider joining me in facing the threat of Kayla Argent, the Shining Lady? You are wise beyond words. Oh no, we've got him in our party, which is not really what I want. Robo the Evil Archmagi. We will sell that. We will sell that. Potions of Invisibility, we'll sell that. Oh yeah, here we go. Baratel's Burden. As a gift to the Drow Sorcerer, Baleth Baratel. So this... Ah, uh, can learn three additional spells of first, second, and third level, but you have a minus, you basically have real difficulties fighting genies. Yeah, okay, well, anyway, not that he would be doing much of that. Grab all of this. And yes, it is, it is right to rob Baleth at any chance. It just is. We can ditch two visibility spells as well now. We've got the potions for it. So mirror image, web or stinking cloud's good for disabling mages, but it is a plus to Ah, what's well actually we really can't afford to be silenced. So maybe I'll pack that instead. And Baileth, you can give us the rest of this for us to sell. Good lord. So many things to pick up. Oh, we're out of space for potions. My, my. Whatever shall we do? Start dropping things we don't need or sell things we don't need. Okay, we can get rid of the arrows and things. Or darts, I should say. And then we'll sell the rest. Now, excuse me, this is cruel, but important. We do wonderful work. I'm impressed. And stealth mode. I go to my grave. That was most enjoyable. We didn't retrieve our reputation, though. Oh, well. McKin's my name of the Grub Doubler clan. Hmm. I made, and I'm sorry you had to suffer the drought's hospitality, such as it was. Been through worse. It's over now. What yeah, I might do. Right. Potentially shouldn't have killed Baileth. No, we killed Baileth. Let's commit to it. Let's sing. Stone Golem now. What does Stone Golem do? Backstab failed. Break, break, break. Let's mirror image. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. Eight thousand experience. Beautiful. Okay. Is that all of them? I think it might be. Let's rock on back and see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's all of them. Mm. Just quickly roll through them again. Make sure we didn't miss something. One's done. We're 
trap is here as well. Apparently this quest can be a mite buggy. So we shall see. Okay. One quick look through here. I inspected that one. Oh, this one we haven't done. Pop. Did we miss something? It's the only one that can't be, that can be interacted with. Oh well. What happened to you guys? Let's go to the next area. So it's over here. Oh, we've got a couple of a uh, couple of options. Troll claw roads. Okay, cool. Coastway forest. And that's what happened when I get my way. Ski. Just killed. Okay. What are you doing here? My duty. And you? I was at the camp. Boring. Then I spotted this clod lurking around Belligarm's supply tent. I think the oaf thought he was being stealthy, if you can believe it. He was trying to poison our rations. I snuck up behind him and gave him the scare of his life. He took off running and there was nobody nearby to stop him. So I went after him. Then I had an idea. It nearly worked too. He had no idea he was being followed. Unfortunately, his friend there knew his business. He spotted me and, well, here we are. Nice work. Risky, but what's life without risk? Head back to Corporal Bents. A simple task. Have I got my... I don't have my buffs up. Be enough for the moment. Isabella and Ikros. Stop there. Are you living or dead? Living. Isabella, please. They're clearly alive. Hmm, we'll see. What's your business here? I saw your camp. Are you followers of the Shining Lady? Crusaders. Do we look like we've nothing better to do than fan a mad woman's ego? No. The work we do has actual value. Right now, we hunt a vicious undead creature. Keep out of our way. Well, we killed a lich and we walked through the first dungeon. So I think we're actually, despite our, our class not being that good at hunting undead ostensibly, we actually do quite well. No need to be rude. What kind of creature are you hunting? A vampire, if you must know. Now, if you'll excuse us, we've got things to do. Push off. It's a nice shield you have there. You wouldn't happen to have found it in a halfling's inn, would you? Oh. What's that supposed to mean? A shield went missing when sterling silver burned down. Did, did you find it? We need the shield more than some innkeeper. Drop the matter or I'll run you through. There's no reason for violence, Isabella. Our enemy is the vampire. Alright, how about if I help you kill the vampire or you give me the shield? Yep, that'll work. Alright, when the vampire's destroyed, the shield is yours. We have the vampire cornered. He's riddled the path with traps, so we can't get to him. But by the same token, his only way out is through us. Meet us here after dark if you want to help us finish this. I'll be here. Save. Nap time. Who's there? Uh, I gotta wait until after dark. There we go. Let's run our buffs now. Hunting vampires is never fun. Well, actually, it's a lot of fun. It's a computer game. But we need to not be... 
engaging in melee combat with it, or else it will level drain us. And you know how much I hate level drain. That means spells, that means not being silenced. Duration is only for a turn. I'm pretty sure you can cast... Now, this is my big question. Because I have two memories. One is that if you're silenced, you can't cast it. And one is that if you are silenced, you can cast it to get out of being silenced. Not sure. By the end of this playthrough, I will know. I just realised for the first time in this whole playthrough that we haven't got that beautiful stacked spell list. Anyway. Um, spell turning lasts for three rounds. Three rounds. Okay. It's enough for now. Let's go undead hunting. Who's there? Right on time. Look, they're in the trees. It's a vampire. Ah, hunters. More of you this time. Your days of slaughtering innocents are over. And that one there. He's agreed to kill me without knowing so much as my name. Your name means... well, we... They all have the same meaning. You're a vampire. That's all I need to know. You must die. By all means, let's introduce ourselves before the stabbing begins. My name is Solak. Though that is of little consequence. What matters is that I've done no harm to these fanatics so bent on my destruction. I ask you, is this right? Enough talk! Kill the monster, now! Let him speak, Isabella. Talk some sense to your partner, Icross. I don't want to fight you. Oh. Apparently we're fighting them now. Wonderful. Invisibility. Potion it is. Stone skin, spells, spell turning. He's got spell turning, which means we need secret word. Spell protections removed. Now we'll breach him. Oh, we can't cast, he's invisible. Um, what if we held every single person in there, or slowed? Not much is really landing here. Um... One of the spells has failed. I what that's about. Icross is hell, that's good. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. Going well. Yeah, see, web's a good option with skeletons because they're mostly immune to it. Not entirely immune, but they're mostly immune. Magic missile, let's get this done quickly. That's her done. Stake as well, we might make good use of that soon. What do we have in here? Why is it so full of everything? Potions of healing. Okay, let's drop all of these. That's why we're carrying so much extra stuff. Should break through the invisibility. Yeah. 
Okay, I think that actually worked. Let's try and breach him. Cool. Got him. Since we had to fight them. I mean, did we have to fight them? I sort of think so. It was killing... I mean, it's a vampire, so... Probably sensible to kill them on sight, but... You know, when it's put like that... Now let's put the ring on. Maybe we kill both, what do you think? Of course. <laughs> yeah. What are we doing with this guy? Done and done. You have my thanks. Watch for my messenger. Okay. I'm not sure if we made the right call there or not. But, there we go. Let's push up through here. Now, we said there were going to be traps. So, let's uh, search as we go. This stell's original purpose has been lost to time. The markings on its surface have been worn down to ghosts of the characters once etched here. Okay, trap. Trap. Lots of traps. Trap not disarmed. Alright. Where are my skeletons? Hello, boys. Walk on through. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Apparently they're immune to traps now. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Perception. That gives us traps as well. That triggered it then. Of course, <laughs> yeah. Definitely more traps here. Done and done. Well, yeah, we could drive a stake through the heart of this, the vampire, but we shall see. Really? Come on, it's got to be trapped. Quick save. Currently empty. Okay, yes, we have to have killed the vampire for him to flee to here. Done and done. A okay. simple task. A quick look around. Man, the uh, inventory clutter is real, isn't it? I don't know why I'm keeping that, all those old potions. Orc leaders. Let's, uh... Orcs aren't normally all that hard. Attempts to hide in shadows. Cloud kill should take them all out. No matter how blessed you are, you're all gonna die. Yep. Death, 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 death. Yep. Orc 
Bowmaster. Oh yeah, okay. So there are archers in there that might be a problem. Let's see if we can sneak around the outside of our spell. Yeah, skeletons, they kick butt. Fortitude, we don't need that. We'll sell it soon. Sleep. Hide armor. I got very excited when I first saw hide armor turn up in a game in Baldur's Gate early on. And then I just never used it, so, you know. What's the go with this, um, this shield, actually? We can inspect it. And so we shall. Hmm. Barnassus, a cleric of Lathander, created a polished bronze shield hundreds of years ago in order to battle a Medusa, rumored to be lurking in the catacombs beneath his city. Barnassus tracked the Medusa to her lair and realized almost too late that what he faced was no ordinary Medusa, but one that had also succumbed to the curse of vampirism. Barnassus closed his eyes and charged forward, ready to take down his enemy or die trying. Lathander rewarded Barnassus' bravery by filling the room with sunlight while the priest slew the Medusa. Cool. So, armor class plus three... 15% chance that anyone attacking the wielder in melee takes 1d4 fire damage and becomes blinder for two rounds. No protection against missile attacks. Can cast Sunfire once per day, which is a decent spell, but we can't use it because apparently it's just that little bit too big for a thief to use. Besides, we're handing it back to someone, so. Rasad. It is good to see a friendly face in the wilderness. Sir, what are you doing here? I heard of the Flaming Fist's march north, and I desire to join. I believe our paths may converge for a time. I left the city and have been traveling north, hoping to catch up with you. It seems I have accomplished my goal. Hmm. How did he catch up so fast? Oh yeah, he's a monk and can move twice as fast as we can. Um, not right now. How about you rock on back to the camp and see what's needed there? If that is your wish, my friend. May Salune smile upon you. Thanks, Rasad. Just randomly meeting you out in the middle of nowhere. A crude painted sign on the far side of the pond reads, Welcome to the Ool. Notice there is no pee in it? Please keep it that way. Bit of a break to immersion, but alright. Quite funny all the same. Okay. Well, that's done. We can return to that halfling and give him his you items have been back. By enemies and must defend yourself. Trolls and orc raiders battle in this clearing. A foul smell wafts from a cave to the northeast. Troll tracks and a few human footprints lead toward the cave. Cool. Visible. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this dead troll. Killing a troll is no easy thing. An orc priest. Let's get in and kill the orc priest first. Let's slow everything down. I think a fire wand would make sense here. How many do we have? One, that's... Oh, actually, we get rid of the necklace. Troll's dead. Sold our kill. You know, we just put a fire spell after an oil spell. A simple task. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble.
Actually, shield spell will keep us pecked as well. Traps. The cave reeks of decaying flesh. Territorial claw marks on the walls indicate a troll clan lives here. Trails on the muddy floor show the bodies. So the bodies have been dragged north toward the sound of running done water. We're not running done away, it's alright. We're grabbing these arrows. Fire arrows. Useful for dealing with trolls. Contract. Oh, we'll read to this in a second. Looks interesting. If I remember. We've got another half hour or so on the episode, so we'll have a good look through here, I think. Done and done. Magical effects. I think we're going to trap the crap out of this place. Book of the Historical Treaties of Dragonspear Castle. Probably is worth reading that too. Okay, let's stealth, let's stealth again. A whole load of trolls. God, it's like 4chan up here. Okay, we need to have a better solution for this. We don't have a whole heap of spells. Fire resistance could be useful, so we can just drop fire explosions right on us. Good. Simple task. Oh crap. Fireball. Hit them good and hard. That's a good thing. Better the rough and tumble. We need to fire another fireball. Lots of fireballs. Quick, quickly too. Or else I'll just come back up again. Trolls are cool. We have, haven't really fought many of them before. Agonanza Scorcher. Fire. Oh, move. Move rapidly. That's good, that's good. That's taken out most of them. <laughs> Time for a bit of the roof and tumble. Fire it. So you gotta use fire to take them out permanently. You damage them, but they can regenerate. And then, once they drop, fire damage. So regenerating foes, as we've encountered already, are the bane of solo runs. Wolf pelt and a skull. The pool's water is murky, and there is very little light in the cave. No matter how hard you look, you cannot see what lies beneath the surface. Oh, do you know, I might have heard of this. This might be that infravision thing. I heard a little bit from people. Is there a potion of infravision somewhere? No. I think this is one of the rare times where this spell has some use. No matter how dark it is, you can't see what's under it. Oh, hello there. Let's uh, backstab him. Again, with these sorts of enemies, it's surge damage that does the difference.
We're sneaking. That's a good thing. Hopefully he'll stop running around like a mad thing soon. Nope, looks like he's going to keep doing it. Massive backstab. Good stuff. Magic missile, surge damage. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. Excellent. One arrow. There we go. We need to rest and learn this spell. Quick save. Okay, I'm just gonna just rest. I know it's a bit cheap. Okay, we can now cast the spell Infravision, which I don't think I have cast yet. A simple task. There we go. The water of the pool is murky. There's very little, very little light in the cave. With the help of infravision, you spot a tunnel beneath the surface. You could dive into the pool and explore the tunnel. Let's do it. Good lord, we are going to die. Sunfire scroll. The firefly sling. Hmm, kind of cool. Don't really think we'll use it though. Um, invisibility, do we think? Pop it. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a carrion craw. That's unpleasant. Um, nah, we don't want to fight all this at once. Let's just... There's a lot of stuff down here. And there are jellies. Invisible. Now they can't find us. They track us because the game codes them too, but they can't. If there was some place we could hide, that would be great. I think most of these things would fall to web. Beautiful. Let's knock out the crawler first. He's relatively simple to kill. Cool. Now, I think fire wand will do quite nicely. We do not have fire resistance, so we're going to use the other version. The one that does cool things. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we'll hit them again. Agonazza Scorcher. Burn. Beautiful. Arrow here. Excellent. Now, this thing. Go smack it. Go thump. Go thump again. Well, Excellent. <laughs> yeah. The half, a half eaten body floats here, preserved by the icy water. Jagged bite marks taken out of the flank are likely to be the work of trolls. Anything else here? Did we see everything? Good bit of experience points as well. 107,000 XP to the next level up. Yeah, that tracks. Alright. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah. That was cool. Great little encounter. Alright, we've got. Let's do a quick sweep well, through of here. <laughs> yeah. Bombardier Beetle. Do we just... Well, we hit it pretty hard. That's good. Go 
Go on, where's the Bombardier Beetle running off to? God knows where. Tempest knows where. Cool. Let's grab that. those arrows too. They're probably going to be good to have. Task. Okay, a bit of reading now while we've got time. I will just skim this. I might have a proper read of it later, so you're not watching everything. Architectural sketches. Above. Oh, here we go. Apparently Dragon Spear was built directly above Halatha... Halatathal... Halata Flare. Oh god, that's got to be a demon. Yeah, may explain reports of ghostly draconic presence nearby. Must warn Crusaders not to interfere with it. Many covered of the castle. The wizard. No wildings for magic. One of his dragon allies slew him in a rage. Okay, so everyone died in this whole battle. If the dragon spirit still lingers, perhaps... Dero's spirit could be would remain trapped in the castle. There's a lot here. I think I'm going to read this off camera. Hmm. Now there's more and more stuff here. Devils returned to Faerun in 1363, Dale Reckoning. When they retook the castle and raised an army, they marched all the way to Daggerford, destroying buildings and slaughtering innocents along the way. A group of adventurers brought together by chance and necessity destroy the army and saw the portal sealed forever. Forever? We'll see about that. So whoever's writing this, yeah, there are annotations all the way through it. So yeah, whoever um, wrote this is not a friend. Okay. Well, we could check out the Troll River thing over the other side but let's sell some stuff to Bella Bella Grimm first firstly you can have all these potions we're not going to use them um, have a skull too I'll keep them sell those potions we've got to sell some potions potion of fortitude we do not need that's nice to have. We don't necessarily need it. Nice to have. But we'll wine. Lots of invisibility potions. So we can basically f forget the spell and just use potions, I think. Okay. We might be able to afford some more arrows, which I think would be good. I don't want us being stingy about arrows if we can help it. Armor. What do you have? unlikely anything for us here buckler of the fist hmm cool and all of that can be forgotten about special magic items nope I'd like to buy some more wands, but they are fiendishly expensive, and we do have plenty already, so we're probably okay. Detect invisibility. Um, no, we've got the ability to do that, so that's fine. Keep looking, searching, searching. Find a place to stay, searching, searching, every night and day. Spell thrust. Um... Yeah, we'll buy that. None of these are really critical. Not game to use Ice Storm, and the damage is not great anyway. But the chance of destroying items is just... I could reduce the gore factor, I suppose. That might work. Acid resistance. Yeah, why not? I think we're good here. What am I doing with these? These Essence of Clarity. Oh, there's such a clutter. I'm actually going to just briefly and illegally 
check the just gonna quickly check the uh, check out what these do essence of clarity consuming the potion would destroy any mortal mind just letting my internet load essence of clarity boulders gate can be used through dialogue do they have any use beyond that point I am cheating at this point I totally understand that um, no in fact we could have used them back in the lich spot so we might just yeet them out because they're taking up valuable space there we go much much nicer okay i think i might call it here because i'm a little bit sleepy um i think our next our plan is to actually what i'll do before we wrap up i'll hand this shield back into the halfling brother be good if we could keep that mirror though but yeah oh it's you again mm. i have all of We're your i have all of your items i thought for sure the bandits would murder you in the forest hmm your confidence is appreciated now how about a reward here take this dart in my despair i considered killing myself with it that seems a trifle extreme now better you should have it thank you Hmm. Oh, here we go. We're a fellow halfling. Surely you can find a way to give a little something more to a fellow halfling. I like this. I guess we do have to stick together. How about you take one of my heirlooms? Oh, brilliant. Uh, the mirror would be wonderful. Thank you. If I'm lucky, I can catch my wife before she gets too far. Good luck. Good luck, Tacos. Her leaving in the midst of all your tragedy was a little cold. Are you sure you want her back? This isn't the first time she's left me after the inn burnt down. We'll make up, all right. Ah, good luck. Oh, sweet. What's this dart he gave us? Biter plus two. Plus two to hit. Plus one acid. 10% chance of penalizing armor class for a turn. Hmm. Essentially unlimited ammunition. It returns to the wielder's hand when thrown. Some of these darts in the next game get really, really good. But our chance to hit with it is through the floor because we haven't got any points in missile weapons. And I'm tempted to get some. Hmm. If I could turn back time. Do do. If I could find a way. Do do. I would wipe this uh, single weapon style point and stick it in missile weapons. Because we are finding crossbows and ammunition as well. But coulda, woulda, shoulda. We will keep that around for later. Uh, what has that changed anything here? Yeah, what do you have for sale? You had some good stuff here, I thought. Mozilla's cudgel. Save versus alteration spells. I'm trying to think what at this point we have for that. Ring of lockpicks. Tempted to get that because it would save us on potions, but we've got plenty of those. Uh, nothing here really. Okay. Has Vassanel still? If I can help you, no. Okay. And Teleria. Nothing. I'll be going. What is it you want, stranger? Nothing. I'll be going. Goodbye. We can't seem to talk to her, so that's fine. Hmm. I wonder. <laughs> okay i will make the cut here and i'll catch you for the next one thanks for watching and i will see you next time